Hello commanders, Commander Wizard IRL here. Today I wanted to show off my incredibly poor impulse control and review the FDL ship kit. The FDL ship kit has been delayed so long, it certainly must be the best ship kit in the game. Let's take it down to outfitting and take a look at kit number 1. Kit number 1 contains these 4 pieces and seems to be the FDL trying to pretend it's a fancy combat hauler. Let's see how it does in combat. Wow, look at this. An elite anaconda can haul more cargo and is supposedly better in combat, but in combat all a kid one for the FDL you cannot lose. Kit number one is OP confirmed. Kit number two contains these four pieces and makes your FDL extra thick. For those who are into that sort of thing, Let's test it against the ultimate thick ship. The type 9 was doing thick, before being thick was cool. Let's see how it handles the thick kit. Wow, look at that. Compared to how thick you are, the type 9 looks like an African child on a ceramic Laughlin commercial. See you with those angels. Kit number 3 contains these 4 pieces, and lets the world know you live your life a quarter light year at a time. You'll be fast and furious with this kit. Kit number 3 is not without risk though, as this terrifying, unedited footage shows. You'll be going so fast, and so furious, that the spoiler will generate so much downforce, that your ship may spin out of control. If you've ever wanted to be Space Paul Walker, this is how you do it. Last but not least we have kit number 4, which gives you a more pronounced nose than Sarah Jessica Parker. Kit number 4 has the least offensive backside of all the kits, and that is quite an accomplishment. The primary strength of kit number 4 is its low drag, so you can low wake with ease at 98% hull, or more. Easy wake, easy life. One common benefit of each of the four kits, is that Frontier mercifully prohibits you from seeing any of them from the cockpit, no matter which one is equipped. These kits are mostly horrible, and appear to be more rush than low at Michael trying to combat Log. I mean just look at how flush and smooth this kit lines up with the body of the FDL. It's not even remotely close. Someone got paid to make that, and then not only did Frontier allow it to leave in that condition, they charged you $12 for the privilege. Here's a fun game to play at home. Guess how much money is represented in the next 1 second clip. Ready? Go. How much did you guess? $20? 50? 70? To get everything shown here, you'd need to buy the base game and season pass currently selling for $60 as a combo on Steam. You would need to then go back in time and buy the wireframe FDL paint job for $5. You'll also need to pick up the alphabet bobblehead pack for $12. You'll need to get the ship name plates for $6. And of course, don't forget the star of the show, the FDL ship kit for $12. That leaves you with a total of $95, 35 of which are progressively worse cosmetics. As I have proven in this video, this is not pay to win, and it is 100% optional, but Frontier keep putting out worse and worse content with minimal fixes of its existing broken content. I'm not saying we should boycott, but I'm saying I can't recommend this sloppy, overpriced excuse for content. Fly safe commanders, go with good consumer practices and shit posts.